talented man, even if only by telephone. That's sweet. Hang on, Frequency. Here comes your father. Hi. Hey, sorry I'm late. Hope everyone's well. How you hey, doing, Daddy. Mr. Bob? I'm doing good. So let's get to it. Yeah, let's do this. We all know why we're here. This meeting is strictly confidential, 100% off the record. Didn't happen. We weren't even here. Capiche? Capiche means understand in Italian. Capiche? Capiche. Yeah. Freak insisted that I have his entire family here. And I think it's great that he has a good support system around him. I've been doing this a very long time, and I work with some of the best. Now, let me rephrase that. I work with the best, and the best always seem to have a great support system around them. A family, if you will, you know what I'm saying? Yes. So let's cut to the chase. Leaving college early now and entering this year's NBA draft is the right move right now. And when you sign with me, Dom Pagnotti, as your agent, I will make sure you are well taken care of. I will make sure you are protected. With this freaking and vibing, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. Freaking and vibing. This freaking and vibing thing you do when you get hot freak, we're gonna make you more money off the court than you will on. We already have endorsements and things like that in mind, so. Cece, I said we because we're gonna do this together. We're a team. We're team freak. But freak, you need to be in the league first, right? That's why I'm here. No, yeah, I hear you, Mr. Pagnotti, but like I told you before, I already promised my parents four years of college. That's the plan, man. That's right. Plans change, change freak. freak. Listen. In life and in basketball, you need to adapt and change to the situation at hand. Now, even if you have the greatest coach and they draw up the greatest play and all the X's and O's make perfect sense on paper, you still need to react to what the defense shows you and then make your move. This is the right move. This is the right move now. And four years of college is a great plan for basically anybody. But you're not just anybody. You are the greatest collegiate talent I have ever seen shoot, dribble, pass, and defend the basketball my entire time on this great planet Earth. Now, Miss Martha, Mr. Pete, I have seen so many of the greats jump right from high school to the pros. Freak, you've at least experienced college. You know what that is. You've been there. You've done that. I am offering you now a chance at the experience of a lifetime. Do you know how many people would love to be in those Jordans right now? Yeah, Freak, I mean, what if you get hurt? You remember how you came down on your ankle in that game earlier this year? Oh, yeah, but I was nothing. Right, we know it was nothing, but next time it could be something. I saw that. Good game, but BAM! just like that, and you could be flipping burgers. Well, maybe not flipping burgers. Maybe you're the manager or assistant manager at some burger joint. Maybe I do a favor and make a call, and you're a delivery boy at Sal's Famous Pizzeria. But the bottom line is, you will be a long, long, long ways away from signing multi-million dollar contracts with me, mm. Don Pagnotti, as your mm. agent. So it's all about the money, right? When was it not all about the money? Money isn't everything. No, it isn't, sir, and no disrespect was meant. But freak, money is freedom the freedom of choice, the freedom to live. Money is the difference between renting and owning, between being the waiter and being waited on. It's the difference between being the chauffeur or being chauffeured. Now, do you want to be a chauffeur? This here is a contract. This makes me your agent. Sign on the dotted line, and I will take you and your family to the promised land. Like I said, Mr. Pagnotti, it's not all about the money. Pete, let the man finish. He made his point. He's finished. Aren't you finished? I said my piece, but I know I'm right. You guys should talk. Pete, what if frequency does get hurt? Shouldn't he take this opportunity now? What if the boy goes pro, gets hurt, and then doesn't have a college degree? Look how hard we work for him to get to where he is. But college isn't for everybody. Pete, you didn't go. That's why we work so hard for him. I'm just saying, I mean, if he's ready to do this now as opposed to later, Pete, anything can happen. You're right. Anything could happen. This is his future. This You're is his life. You're not listening to me, Pete. Not just a game. All right, all right, all right. Mom, Pops. It's all right. Look, truth be told, I don't even know what I want to do right now. I understand that. Yeah, but I was talking to my boy Vic the other day. Why? And he, and he was making a lot of sense. He thinks I should leave early, too. You know what? I've, I, no, no, I've kept quiet this whole time, and I also think that Freak should join the league. I think it's a great business decision, and I think that Mr. Pagnotti is absolutely right. Thank you, Yvette. You're welcome. Now, Freak, I know for a fact that people have been talking about the company you keep, and you need to be careful. It could compromise what we're trying to do here. What are you trying to say? You know, your association with that guy Victor off the court? It could compromise your selection in a draft. As a matter of fact, I know it will. Do you realize the difference in dollars between being drafted first overall and 21st? You're talking tens of millions of dollars. You don't get it, do you? 
CC. Our first sneaker deal alone, you're talking a difference of a 50 to $100 million difference just by that. Number one, that's what we need. If I were not 1,000% convinced in my mind and in my heart that we could get you drafted first overall, I wouldn't be like this. This is the play. This is the move, freak. You got to listen and to I, me. I, I absolutely hear you, but who are they to tell me who I can't hang with my brother? No, freak, you need to listen to him. I've been telling you the same exact thing. Mr. Dom, Frequency and Victor grew up together. They're best friends. We took the boy in and practically adopted him. Martha, I told you that boy ain't nothing but trouble. He, he's family. OK, but that's my boy, and he agrees with y'all. It's not about agreeing with Vic. We're trying to prepare you for your future. You know what, but it is his future. So this is none of your business. You still, you still, you still, still, still have a decision to make. Sign with me. Yes or no. Can I just interrupt? Your tone. For one sec. Everybody just settle down, please. Now, I appreciate you all taking the time in this heated discussion, but the truth of the matter is there's only one person in the room that can make this decision. Now, son, you know how I feel. Right. Education is the most important thing in life, but this is your choice. It's not your mother's or your sister's or mine. Mm. It's not your girlfriend. It's not Mr. Pagnotti's, and it definitely ain't Victor's. This is your decision, son. So you tell us what you want to do. I need 30 seconds, freak. OK. I have four beautiful children, and I want each of them to go to college and graduate. But if you walked up to any one of those four children right now and said, I will give you a contract that's worth 100, 200, 300 million dollars, I would say, bypass college. You can always go back. I want you to graduate. I want you to get your doctorate. I want to call you Dr. Freak. But you need to understand this. Now, you can go all over this beautiful country that we live in and go into any of the major universities. You will find people that are 30, 40, 50, 60, 60, 80 years old, and you will find them graduate. But if you live to be 500 years old, you will never see ever, ever somebody 40, 50, 60 years old being drafted from college into the NBA. We need to strike while the iron is hot. This is your life. We will get you drafted first overall. You will be up there with all the big names. I'm not talking first rounder. I'm talking first overall. Listen to me. This is Mr. what Pagnotti. I do. I am the best at what I you do. Have had Nobody your 30 is better. Seconds plus. Miss Martha, I am sorry. You Mr. just Pagnotti, need to understand. Would you please let my wife speak? I apologize. Frequency. Baby, what do you want to do? OK. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have Cece go through this contract, front to back. I'm going to think about it, sleep on it, pray on it. And I will call you in the morning. All right. Listen, Mr. Pete, Miss Martha, it was a pleasure meeting the two of you over telephone. And I look forward to meeting you both in person. Remember, everybody, this meeting never took place. We weren't even here. Capiche? Capiche. OK. All right, Mom, Pops, I'm going to call you guys later. I love you. Love you, I right, love you, too, son. Bye. We met working at the post office together. Martha was a clerk, and I was a carrier. And I uh, asked her out to lunch one time and take her for a bagel around the corner from where we worked. A bagel? A bagel, yeah. With cream cheese? Cream cheese. Split down the middle? Split down the middle. Love at first sight. Yeah? I believe that. It was true. It happened to me. Good evening and welcome to the NBA Draft. With the first pick in the NBA draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves select Carl Anthony Towns from the University of Kentucky. With the second pick in the NBA draft, the Los Angeles Lakers select D'Angelo Russell from the Ohio State University.
With the third pick in the NBA draft, the Philadelphia 76ers select Jalil Okafor from Duke University. With the fourth pick in the NBA draft, the New York Knicks select Kristaps Porzingis from Latvia. With the fifth pick in the NBA draft, the Orlando Magic select Mario Hezonja from Dubrovnik, Croatia. With the sixth pick in the NBA draft, the Sacramento Kings select Willie Cauley-Stein from the University of Kentucky. With the seventh pick in the NBA draft, the Denver Nuggets select Emmanuel Moutier from Dallas, Texas. With the eighth pick in the NBA draft, the Detroit Pistons select Stanley Johnson from the University of Arizona. With the ninth pick in the NBA draft, the Charlotte Hornets select Frank Kaminsky from the University of Wisconsin. With the 10th pick in the NBA draft, the Miami Heat select Justice Winslow from Duke University. With the 11th pick in the NBA draft, the Indiana Pacers select Miles Turner from the University of Texas. With the 12th pick in the NBA draft, the Utah Jazz select Trey Lyles from the University of Kentucky. With the 13th pick in the NBA draft, the Phoenix Suns select Devin Booker from the University of Kentucky. With the 14th pick in the NBA draft, the Oklahoma City Thunder select Cameron Payne from Murray State University. With the 15th pick in the NBA draft, the Atlanta Hawks select Kelly Oubre from the University of Kansas. With the 16th pick in the NBA Draft, the Boston Celtics select Terry Rozier from University of Louisville. With the 17th pick in the NBA Draft, the Milwaukee Bucks select Rashad Vaughn from UNLV. With the 18th pick in the NBA Draft, the Houston Rockets select Sam Decker from the University of Wisconsin. With the 19th pick in the NBA draft, the Washington Wizards select Jaron Grant from the University of Notre Dame. With the 20th pick in the NBA draft, the Toronto Raptors select Elon Wright from the University of Utah. With the 21st pick in the NBA Draft, the Dallas Mavericks select Justin Anderson from the University of Virginia. With the 22nd pick in the NBA Draft, the Chicago Bulls select Bobby Portis from the University of Arkansas. With the 23rd pick in the NBA Draft, the Portland Trailblazers select Rondé Hollis Jefferson from the University of Arizona. With the 24th pick in the NBA Draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select Tyus Jones. With the 25th pick in the NBA Draft, the Memphis Grizzlies select the 19-year-old small forward from the University of Michigan.